So, yeah, my switches came in, so this is what my switches are going to look like. I just painted them black. They're too colorful for my taste, you know? Look like one of them rainbow flags or something. So, um, anyway, so what I got to do now, I'm trying to run the wires through here, so <coughs> these wires are going to go to the engine compartment the engine yeah so the big one's coming off the battery that's going to be my hot coming in and then i'll go to this little distribution block here and that'll split it down to some smaller wire so i can tie off for my switches my two-way radio and maybe my uh something like a, a small thingy here uh inverter I know a lot of Tacoma owners out there are saying, you know, oh, why'd you, why did I buy this truck? Should have stayed with Toyota, but you know what? I like this. The more I get into it, the, the, I just like the way it's built. Look at it. It's got a pad on the hood. Look, it's even got a Chevy emblem molded into the pad there for insulation, sound. The rear firewall. I just noticed the rear firewall's got a pad on it, too. Oh, this is for sound. Keep things quiet. It is fairly quiet. The fender liners are not just standard plastic. There's some kind of thick material. Um, some kind of plastic, but I don't. It's it's fibrous, you know, heavy. Like that. On the inside. On the inside, I've been looking for a way to run the wires through, maybe through the back. And if you look inside the back of the cab here, I don't know what you call it, but I see some plastic things back in there, and I found out what they are by opening up the back here. Underneath this cover, here's another nice touch. You got this nice plastic cover over the steel, and underneath that, I got more insulation, more padding in there. But behind that, there is a uh, there's a like an air duct right there. See right there. Right there where my finger's pointing. That's what's going through the fire, uh, through the wall there. Isn't that interesting? It's actually an air duct. Look, I can stick my finger in there. It's got a little door on it. Now I'm pushing my finger on there. See that? You can see it in there. But yeah, see, there's my finger. Isn't that kind of trip? Close, open, close, open, close, open. So. That's interesting, so I guess, uh, you know, so you got the AC blowing and air's coming in, air's going out back here. Got some more louvers down here. So it actually breathes. Well insulated. Has real carpeting on it. The door pads are actually padded. That was one big complaint about my Tacoma. Needs a good cleaning, but yeah, the door panels the armrests on the Tacoma were hard as a rock. Very annoying. So anyway, I got wire to pull. I got my CB antenna I need to route inside. I think I just may drill a hole next to that air duct. And once I get it in here, then I can run it under the carpet back, back to the front of the truck. Sounds easy, but we shall see. Featuring the, quote, sound of Frankie Valley, there was actually nothing like it. 20 before the hour, you got hour number two of the Pat St. John Show in progress here on Sirius XM. It's the 60s on six. Hey, Pat, this is Richard King of Georgetown, Kentucky. We've spoken a couple times. Oh, yeah, hi, Richard. Hey, uh, man, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, you guys have a, one of your uh, uh, booths there in Sirius that's uh, named after Alan Freed, right? Yes, in Cleveland at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's yeah, the Alan Free Studio. So with all this stuff I've got, would you believe I don't have those little connectors? I mean, it's time to start throwing some of this stuff away, I think. You know, like, am I ever going to use this? I got a backup light here. LED. Just... Hey, here's the tow hooks, the factory tow hooks off the truck. I'm saving them for what? I don't know. I mean, they're just dead weight now, but good for something. Stuff and more stuff and more stuff. 
yeah, uh, I need some of these, some of those. I may use this fuse, on, uh, I may not. I need a smaller fuse, I mean, smaller rated fuse. That's, I'll probably have to go back to the store one more time. So yeah, it's a casual Friday. Uh, I did kind of want to go out someplace. I got a couple friends on vacation and we were talking the other day about it. The other night we were, had a few beers. And then I was looking at the weather where we want to go. It's over 100 degrees, so I, that's not going to happen. Still too hot to go out, way out. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, this is where I'm at. And then I'm gonna shut this off and, and get to work here. But before I started, yeah, first I had to get all these wires here back into this console here. So this comes off very easily with a couple of screws, but then you gotta feed the wires through somehow. That took a bit of time. So I got my power. This is going to be my main power off the battery. So this is like a nice big wire. I can hook anything up to it later on. It's right here. And it's got four taps. So I got a 10 gauge here for my CB radio. So I just ran a wire through. It's down there. These are for the switches. I got two banks of switches here. So I ran two wires through that. It's kind of redundant there. I could have ran one, but and there's these little issues there I had to deal with. This is going to be the two wires to the front lights, the bumper and the fog lights. And these just go to a relay, so they don't have to be... I can use some small gauge wire. I think this is like 14 or 16. And then this is my control wires for the relays that are being in the back of the truck. All my other auxiliary powers will come off of here, and these are just going to go to relays, so I can also run small gauge wire but all these got to be hooked up to these center lugs or spades connectors on this on these switches got to designate them all this takes time figuring this all out i'm like okay what do these wires go to now this is goes in and these go yeah these are going mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the blocks are grounds, of course. I need two grounds, I need two powers. I need... So, this here needs to hook up to the battery, and then that'll power everything right off there. Sounds simple, but takes a lot of time, and then to get all these wires back into this dash area, there is very little room in there. As you can see, I got, about, I got over 12 wires here. This is, I think, six or eight. Two, four, six, alone, and there's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, so that's what's going on there. Just gonna try to take it easy and, uh, you know, I'll get this situated, and then I still gotta work on the wiring in the back where the, uh, I gotta connect the lights to the relays, mount the relays, it's just, let me say, small, tedious work. Whoa, man. All right, guys, this has been tough. Six, 6.35 and uh, I've been scratching my head for the last hour and a half trying to figure out why these don't work. Only half of the switches work. And they're not even hooked on anything. You know, I'm just doing a little test run before I do hook anything up to them. And so I run some jumpers and stuff to get them going. But um, so it's kind of something like that, you know. Got power coming in on this. This is a four gauge wire going to there. Coming out on these two yellows here. These are feeding the switch, switch one, switch two. The red one, 10 gauge, is feeding my CB radio. That's where it's gonna go, because uh, don't have too many options in here. I gotta figure out where to put the mic. But, uh, yeah, here's my cup holder. But um, So I got a bunch of wires right underneath here, and they're kind of not out of sight. I might try to hide them with something but put a little cover over the top or something <coughs> my uh <coughs> this is my cigarette lighter here for the uh or the 
yeah, power port, whatever you call it. And that's for my uh, dash cam. So that worked out okay, but over on the other side, I got a USB port in there and it, it hits the back of these switches, so that's no good. Didn't think of that. But these are the switches, I painted them black, see, and there's just a little color on them when you flip them. Uh, yeah. Although I got problems. Okay. This side would work, but nothing would happen over here. And that's, Jam. I went as far as taking them back out again and testing just this side and hey guess what I had some wires crossed the positive and negatives on the switches were backwards so what I figured I'd do is just switch the wires around okay so yeah now it works the only issue with that is now they're upside down see this is on over here this is actually off that's on that's off that's on that's that's on that's on I'll show you right now okay so we got power on here but yeah see those are in the on position right there so I gotta turn these off so those look cool yeah, those came out pretty cool, I think. Mm. So that's off. Let's see over there, these are the opposite. Oh man, that's on. I guess I can see I meant to do them that way. Hmm. So all I did with these switches though is, is give them a shot of black. You know, I don't want them too black because I want them. I mean, I, I, you know, I still want them to light up a little, but not that bright. I mean, that's like perfect, I think. These over here came a little different. I don't know why, probably because they're upside down, huh? So, uh, finally figured that out. I could leave them like that. Just to make people wonder, how come those are like that? And how those are like that? That bastards. Oh, nosy busybodies. So I got this working. But well, I gotta tune the antenna now. Huh? I think I got a little effect here from. Uh, well, it's not tuned, so. Anyways, this interior is done as far as I'm concerned with this part. Like I said, I might leave those switches like that because the issue I'm gonna have now is flipping them back around. If you remember from my last video, I kind of soldered them together. <laughs> that means I'd have to desolder them to flip them around so they turn on in the same direction as these. And right now the power isn't going anywhere because uh, nothing's hooked up. There's no relays, there's no lights, I, I just haven't had the time to do that. And it's already 6.30, I had enough of this for today. Tomorrow Saturday. I think it's supposed to be hot tomorrow. I may get up early and go to the beach. Mm. Well, that's it for now. Uh, after this, I think I'm gonna. Oh, damn, those mosquitoes are out. Here in Southern California, we got these little tiny mosquitoes all of a sudden, like this year, that come out. And they don't bite you once, they bite you three or four times in, in a spot. And they're small, they're like gnats. They get me every, every night, damn it. 
Anyway, I gotta get out of here.